Hi, I'm Yash, and this is my, the advertisement for my talk on improved state time extraction in the random oracle model with applications to signature aggregation. This is a joint work with Abhi Shalad. So recall that a Sigma protocol consists of a commitment, a challenge, and a response that's exchanged between a prover and a verifier. The fiat chimney transformation gives a simple way to compile a Sigma protocol to a non-interactive proof with a suitably chosen hash function. Intuitively, the prover simply hashes the statement along with its first message to replace the verifier's challenge. The security of the fiat chimney transformation is proven in the random oracle model with a so-called forking strategy, which involves running the prover twice and choosing a random point in its queries to the random oracle to fork its execution in some sense. The fiat chimney transform has a number of advantages. It is simple to describe and implement, and it's also very efficient. It costs roughly the same as the input sigma protocol to prove and verify. On the other hand, the forking strategy that I just showed doesn't compose, and it's unclear how to prove concurrent security when using the fiat chimney transform. And also, there's this quadratic security loss that comes from having to run the prover twice. State line extraction, on the other hand, which was formalized by PASS in the random oracle model, involves running the prover just once and having the extractor simply read the queries to the random oracle to deduce the witness for the statement. And PASS showed that this, this sort of extraction strategy is amenable to concurrent composition. And in the same paper, he gave a simple cut and choose construction to achieve straight line extraction. Fishlin, in a subsequent work, gave a straight line extractable compiler that avoided the cut and choose logistics of PASS through a clever proof of work type idea. Intuitively, the prover sends over transcripts of the form AEZ to the verifier such that the transcript hashed the all zero string, again, for the suitably chosen hash function. In this work, we explore two dimensions of Fishlin's compiler, its computation cost and its applicability. In particular, the computation cost ends up being the bottleneck in a number of applications, and so we ask if we can improve on it. In terms of applicability, Fishton only proved that his compiler applies to a restricted class of signal protocols that satisfy a notion of quasi-unique responses. And this doesn't, for example, include the logical all compo composition sigma protocol or Peterson's proof of, a proof of knowledge of a Peterson commitment and so forth. There is a folklore that Fishton's transform works right away anyway, and it's just a matter of writing down the proof, and we explore this in our work. So to begin with, we give a lower bound that explains the lack of progress in Fishland's original work, showing that Fishland's protocol is optimal up to a small constant in terms of computation. But on the other hand, we do show that application-specific optimization is possible. In particular, we show up to a factor 200 improvement for the application of NDSA signature application. And, in term, and with regards to applicability, we show that the folklore is actually wrong we give a new attack on witness and distinguishability of Fishlin's transform in certain contexts. And we show that this attack can be fixed by a simple randomization mechanism. So I hope to see you at the talk and you can also find our work online or at, at this link. Thanks.